Welcome to Igor Tech Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create system image full backup and how to restore it on Windows 10. The system image tool allows you to create a full backup to an external drive or network shared folder. However, it is best to use removable storage, which you can then disconnect and store in a different physical location. To create a full backup of Windows 10 with the system image tool, use these steps. Open settings. Click on update and security. Click on backup. Under the looking for an older backup section, click the go to backup and restore Windows 7 option. Then click the create a system image option from the left pane. Use the on a hard disk drop down menu and select the location to export the Windows 10 full backup. In this case, I will select drive E. Then click the next button. Select any additional hard drives to include them in the backup. This is optional. Click the next button. Click the start backup button. Take a note that this take longer. While the backup is in progress, you can continue working on the device since it uses the shadow copy feature to backup files even if files are open and apps are running. After the process is complete, you can disconnect and store the external drive in a safe place. If you have valuable data, you may want to consider keeping the backup in a different physical location. From here, you'll also receive a prompt to create a system repair disk, if you want a system repair disk, just press OK. Since I don't have CD and or DVD insert here, the system will display the system repair disk could not be created. So now, I will just click OK, then cancel. Take a note that most devices no longer include an optical drive, so you can skip this part. If you have to restore the machine, you can use a USB installation media to access the recovery environment. Now, click the close button. Once you complete the steps, the tool will create an image of the entire system that includes everything on the primary hard drive and other drives you may have selected. Now, here is the copy of the system image we have just created. In this demo, I will uninstall Google Chrome and will check later after backing up the system image, and delete some file as well. Now it's time to move on to our second topic, how to restore a backup image. If you need to replace the hard drive or hardware failure occurs, you can use one of the backups to recover the device and files. Take note that you need Windows 10 USB bootable drive to perform this. In this demo, we are going to use the image which we have just created. To restore a backup image on Windows 10, follow these steps. From here, before turning on the computer, I have inserted the Windows 10 USB bootable drive. On the USB bootable drive startup prompt, Press any key to continue. If the device does not start in the Windows Setup Wizard, you will need to access the basic input slash output system, BIOS, or unified extensible firmware interface to change the boot order settings. You can use this guide to access the BIOS slash UEFI, but the steps are usually different per manufacturer and device model. It is recommended to check your manufacturer support website for more specific details. In my device, I press F10 to access the boot setting, then I will select boot to USB flash drive, then press enter. From here, select your preferred language, then press next. Then click on repair your computer option. Click the troubleshoot option, then advanced options, then system image recovery option. Then click on Windows 10 option. I have not inserted my backup hard disk, so the system is asking to attach it. Now, I will attach my hard drive where the Windows image backup is saved, then press retry. Now it is showing here in the location option. Now press next to continue. From here, click next, then click on finish option, then click yes to continue. After you complete the steps, the recovery process will start on the computer. The time to finish the restoration will depend on the amount of data and hardware configuration. If you are about to restore a device, do not interrupt the process as it can cause the backup to fail, making the device unbootable. It is always recommended to have the laptop connected to a power source and a desktop computer to an uninterruptible power supply to avoid problems. Once the backup has been restored, Open Settings. Update and Security. Windows Update, and click the Check for Updates button to quickly install any missing security updates. Erase the login window after the backup is completed. In this section, I will leave Setup option and select Remind Me Later. Now, here's our new restored system. You can see here that the Google Chrome icon is restored which we had uninstalled before restoration. You can see also here in our document folder that the file which we had deleted is restored as well. This covers how to create system image full backup and how to restore it on Windows 10. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it.
If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.